Hello, and welcome to this edition of Midweek Mana. Thank you for allowing me to uh, present these as a pre-recording uh, due to being out of town on a conference. And I would ask you to pray for me and my traveling mercy since I will be driving. This month, we are doing a topic called Becoming Like Jesus. I felt at the beginning of the year, it'd be great to do something like this to set our uh, focus for the rest of the year. To, at this time, I want to talk about discovering your why. Do you know why we have been chosen by God? Yes, you and I have both been chosen by God. We are God's holy people, a chosen priesthood, according to uh, Peter. And so when I ask the question about why you think God chose you, there really is no other reason other than God loves us. And isn't it nice to feel chosen? How many of us have been chosen last? when it came to playing a game or chosen last to plan anything or doing anything. And yet God chose us first and foremost to love us and to take care of us. And we are to reflect that as we walk in this life. Now, I know it's not easy to be uh, like Jesus every day of our lives, every second, every moment of our lives. Uh, I struggle with that and I'm sure you do too. But as long as we are trying to be more like Jesus, I think God gives us a pass. And I mean, we go out and do stupid things and make stupid decisions. And sometimes we do. Uh, but be very conscious about how we live our lives. Because the reality is, you may be the only Bible that other people will see. Think about that for a second. As you live your life, there are people who are watching you, especially if you tell folks that you are a Christ follower. That's really when they start watching you. They watch what you say. They watch where you go. They watch what you do. And so if we have been chosen by God and we choose to live our life intentionally for God, then we should be concerned about what we do or what we say or where we go because we know everything that we do, say, and go would be approved of by God. Colossians 3, 12 through 13 says, Therefore, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. And if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive them. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. That is probably the hardest thing to do, walking like Christ, is forgiveness. But remember, forgiveness is about you not about the other person. Because as long as we hold unforgiveness in our heart towards somebody, they still have power over us. So our job is to forgive them. Don't forget, but to forgive them for what they've done and move on so we can take back our power. Becoming like Jesus, discovering your why. Just think about that. God chose you and I to love us. And it's nice to know that we are loved by God. Take care. Bye-bye.